Hello, dear wildflowers. Tonight, let's walk together and take a rather reflective stroll through the deep, dark forest on the eve of the Samhain full moon. Known by some as All Hallows Eve, Samhain is the pagan sabbat of death and rebirth, and here in the Southern Hemisphere, we celebrate in May, which just so happens to be my birthday. This is the night when the veil that separates the worlds is at its thinnest, and those with the gift can reach across and touch the world of the Fae, or the world of the dead. It is a night of wonder and magic, wrapped in superstition for centuries. On this night, the Stone Mother, the Kaliak, comes to strip the leaves from the trees and quicken their decay. It is the perfect time for shadow work, shedding the withered aspects of ourselves to return to the earth and be reborn. It is a time to invoke the dark goddesses, like my beloved Hecate. And as the sun sank low on this night, I took up my lantern to seek out the shadows as the wind whispered and the sun cast its dying light through the leaves. For you see, in folklore, the deep dark forest is often a metaphor for one's own psyche. And if I'm honest tonight and fearlessly face my shadow, this little rose has been lost in a forest of her own for far too long. Beneath a pastel watercolour surface, I've been clinging to my grief like a weeping widow, unable to let the darkness go. I have allowed the shadow of grief to dig its brittle fingers deep into my heart and take up residence there, haunting the dusty passageways of my soul for five long years. There is a phenomenon in nature called marsessence, where trees hold on to their dead leaves long through the winter, refusing to let go. Perhaps, like me, those trees couldn't understand why the beautiful green leaves, those sparkling gifts of light, happy and dancing in the sunlight, would ever want to curl up and die. But how will new life grow and summer days return again if we don't say goodbye to what is long gone? The time has come to find my way out of the deep dark forest. The journey will not be swift, nor easy, but it begins with just one step. Will you come with me? The first step on my journey out of the deep dark forest begins in the subconscious realm, reorganizing the neural pathways of my nervous system through the power of meditation. And so, now is the perfect time to introduce the sponsor of this episode, Aura. On the eve of Samhain, the Witch's New Year, I'm making a resolution to use this life-changing app twice daily, exploring guided meditations, yoga nidra, affirmations, and ASMR. At night, Aura's sleep stories are my favorite, especially the fantasy ones that along with hypnosis and sound frequencies, whisk you away to an enchanted realm, sometimes with fairies and angels. I have complex PTSD and often experience nightmares and extreme hypervigilance, but when I wake in the night and put on one of these beautiful stories, I am able to relax and fall back asleep. If you would like to try Aura for yourself, it is completely free and I will leave a special link in the description below. Aura are offering the first 500 little wildflowers who download a free trial an exclusive 25% off. I so hope you enjoy it and would love to hear which is your favourite sleep story. Mine is The Woodland Fairies by Michelle Sanctuary. You all know I can't let a Sabbath pass without some kitchen witchery. And since Samhain is also my birthday, I decided to make a healthy, raw vegan version of my favorite cake, Black Forest, with rich dark chocolate, 
cashew cream and sour black cherries. I'll share this recipe with my wild roses on Patreon, but whilst this layer is setting, let's take a look at some of my birthday presents. Another one of my Samhain resolutions centers around gratitude, focusing not on what I have lost, but what I have gained over the past five years. Even though the path through the dark forest has been a lonely one, just like any hero's tale, magical companions appear when you need them the most, offering enchanted objects, healing potions, or valuable insights. I feel incredibly blessed to have such amazing witchy women in my life, so receiving such thoughtful gifts, especially ones that support me in my healing journey, reminds me how lucky I am. Perfume, roses, and herbal tea. What more could a Samhain birthday baby ask for? Now, you might have guessed, but this is no ordinary cake, but rather think of it as a spell in edible form. The cacao in this recipe alone is an ancient and powerful plant medicine known to facilitate radical change and when consumed on a full moon, will invoke the goddess to burn away all that no longer serves me. With a pinch of magenta dragon magic too, each bite embodies universal love and fans the flames of divine feminine ferocity. I can almost hear the hounds of Hecate howling in approval. On this night, it is tradition to make an ancestor altar and host a silent supper to dine with the dead. And so, tonight my birthday party will be a somewhat spooky affair, sitting quietly with the fallen leaves of my family tree. With this rare chance to step into their realm for a moment, I took up a pen and paper and listened for whispers, keeping a watchful eye out for any signs. When my ancestors spoke to me on that night, at first sending my auntie's housewarming card flying across the kitchen, <laughs> and later as I turned to serve up a slice of cake, found my pen in the center of my plate beckoning me to write something down. Their message was simple. Give yourself permission to rest. It is time to embrace life again and live for yourself. No wise woman would ignore the advice of the dearly departed on the eve of Samhain, and so I intend to do exactly as instructed and slow things right down. This rose is taking a much needed holiday until the winter solstice.
If you would like to see the final reveal of this painting or join in my witchy book club, you can find me creating a way over on Patreon. Until then, dear wildflowers, may you always find that warm flickering flame that leads you through the deep dark forest. May you summon the courage to face your own shadows this hour and shake those withered leaves from your tired limbs. <laughs>